Hello? What's going on? What's going on? How you doing? Hey, you've been before, I think. Yes, I've been here before and we met before. And okay, yes. I met you All Star Weekend. Yes, 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 you did. So let's just start from the top because I remember <laughs> if you are watching, how do I say I want to get I want to get it right. He is a trans man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that how I say it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. He's a trans man, was born a, a woman. And I remember the first time, I can't even remember when you told me within the questions. And still, I actually met him in person and didn't realize it in person either. Like, would not know. So are you here right. with an update? Um, no, I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk a little bit about something. So I, I'm here with, I don't have no update. Uh, because I feel like when I got on the show, it was January of 2023 when it first came up. Yes, it was like thousands and thousands of people who reached out, but I think it was more of the fact that people felt as though they were surprised. Like if you go back to the video that me and you did, you were really shocked for like seven months, seven minutes straight. You couldn't really ask me the real questions that you wanted to ask me. And on top of that, like, because of what I was doing in my career, it affected me, like, really bad. Like, I lost a lot of stuff, opportunities and stuff along the way, like, that was going on in my career. Like, I'm not in Utah no more. Like, well, it was a lot. let me say this. You called me. Yeah. I called no one. Right, 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 right. <laughs> okay. Right, 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 right. So, no, what I'm saying is, like, I'm not upset because I'm glad that I was able to come out. I'm glad that I was able to be transparent. But I felt like maybe I should talk more and get real questions asked about like who I am, you know, because I think people were more so following me from the perspective of, okay, this is intriguing. You know what I'm saying? Like I had never seen nothing before like this, or is it gonna be something outrageous on his page? Or is he lying about something? You get what I'm saying? That was more so a lot of the followers, a lot of the people that I did get to try to get to know, they didn't fit the category. It's like 67 year old women. Like, come on now, I'm 27 years old, all right? You know, I'll take care of you, baby. Like, no. I so can't. let me ask this. I mean, you get two times on the show. Do you want to use your second time right now? Yeah, I use my second time okay. right now. So I I'm going to say this. I don't mind asking you the questions. I can't, re I can't recall the whole interview, mm -hmm. but I do know, I still remember how in disbelief, I mean, you, Literally, there's one other person, but you beat this person that if you did not tell me, I would not have known. So I do think you have to, whether or not, I know you want something real and I respect that. But when you come on a platform like this and people are like, I mean, you do not, no one would ever expect that you were born a woman. Right, 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 right. So that's not the, that's not the issue. What I'm, what I'm saying is, a lot of the followers, it, I don't think it was for love. Like it was a few people that were interested in me. Like, let's just say it was 4,500 people that followed me, 4,500 women, right? I had over 1,300 messages. Most of them was talking about, you know, my kids transition. I want some advice, you know, and I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind talking about that or maybe trying to understand what it's like being like who I am. But I don't think when I would, get to know people they would say i really didn't even hear what she asked you i really didn't hear the questions i was just really stuck on the fact that you was a trans man you get what i'm saying so they didn't really hear the requirements that i asked for well, let's do it okay fair enough so oh. alan correct yes alan alan where you live now babe i'm i'm in mobile right now taking care of my grandma but i'm in atlanta i'm staying atlanta. in atlanta. atlanta how old mm -hmm. are you 27. 27, and what do you do for a living? I'm a tech CEO. A tech I have a start. Tech CEO. Do you have any kids? No kids. No kids. And what's your zodiac sign? Gemini. Gemini. So we got Alan, Atlanta, 27, Gemini, tech CEO, no kids. Um, trans man, and that'll be the, well, I'll say it throughout, but either way. What kind of woman are you looking for, honey? Yeah, so, um, 
I'm looking for someone who I feel like I'm spiritually aligned with. Um, I'm Christ conscious, so I go specifically to Michael Beckwith. If you're familiar with Michael Beckwith out of California, like Christ consciousness. Um, and I want someone who is spiritually aligned with me, um, someone who is also an entrepreneur or has a sales or entrepreneurial mindset, uh, alpha type of personality. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Uh, my deal breakers is like, um, I understand this may be intriguing, but please don't ask me about my genitalia on the first conversation and first date. Um, uh, I don't even know if I want to be with you. Uh, please don't talk to me about sex on the first date. Um, I've been celibate for a very long time, so I may not even have sex with you. Uh, please don't talk to me about, uh, you know, how am I going to have kids in X, Y, and Z? Are you going to be able to afford that on the first day? Trust and believe me. If I want to have kids with you, I'm going to take care of my responsibility. But I don't even know if I want to have kids with you. Get to know me as a person and I'll get in to know you as a person. Because just because you're a woman and you may be attractive don't mean that I want to be with you. Like, I have to... Like, I have a type, too. I have standards, too. So don't just feel because I'm giving you an opportunity that you can just do whatever you want to do or we can just move fast. Like, you got to treat me like a human being. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care. Like, I, I, I'm i probably not going to have sex with you. You know? It's probably ever? not going to happen. Not, no, no, not ever. But what I'm saying is, like, I, in person and online, like, I get my fair share of women who are attracted to me that doesn't mean i'm not easy like just because you like me i have a type and i have self-control so if i sustain myself for over a year at this point and i've dated been close slept with a woman without having sex with a woman you have to bring more to the table than just sex for me to get to that place with you right um so I don't want to talk about that. Like, let me bring that up to you. I feel like a lot of women that they me, they want to get into it. Okay, what is it going to be like? Okay, what is it like? Okay, do you use this? Do you use that? Okay. Uh, uh. You know, and I get it. It's something to be curious about, but it's annoying to me because I'm on the receiving end and I deal with that all of the time. So it's like, I'm just looking at you, not saying that you are, you know, promiscuous but that's the way i'm automatically t i'm just putting you in that category whether that's right or wrong if we're talking about that too quick you know you know what I, so i i respect your point of view because you know i sit out of seat when i hear the same questions over and over again so i get it how you could be irritated by that always being asked and and being wanting to know and you have the right right so it's not really something that to negotiate I think I do understand the question, though, because, I mean, that's a that that's an immediate deal breaker or not. If you know, if you want to be sexually active, you mm -hmm. would need to know that, like, let's say you want to have children and you know that you want to have children. On the first date, I think it's appropriate to ask, like, do you want kids one day? And if someone said no, then that's, a, then that's fair to say we're not going to date anymore because that's something I really want, right? So if a woman... I think that because most women, see, I get women who probably wouldn't necessarily really consider dating a trans man, right? But because you sincerely look like a man, I can see a woman being open-minded. Like, mm -hmm. well, let me see. I'm gonna be open-minded because for my eyes, he looks like a man. So I do understand the curiosity of wanting to know the genitalia. I also respect you not wanting to share. So I well, both sides. so so I think for me, okay, okay. So you're correct. You're c correct with your with, with everything that not assumption, but everything that you said, right? So, but the thing is, if you know, I, let's just say I say no, right? I don't have a dick, you know. I don't have that, and you know, you're still gonna be okay. I guess that's my thing. You still gonna. But be what like, if she would be okay? Maybe that's maybe that's a, a deciding factor. But for that's. Her. Listen, this made my life for 10 years, and I'm just being honest. I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm not trying to be egotistical or anything, but I just haven't heard it. 
if they if I've told them I'm a trans male and we get to that point to have a conversation where you ask, okay, I got a little question, you know, do you got a dick? Da, da, da. And I say, no. Okay. That's every hundreds. I, I mean, it's over and over and over again. So it's like, but then that leads to a question, a sexual question, a sexual question, you know, and it's like, I don't want to necessarily whether you want to know, I got to tell you yes or no. But from that point, if you know that you still want to get to know me as a person, let's get there to, I don't know if that makes sense to you. You know what I I'm saying? Understand. I know. I, I totally understand your position. I have never had, I have never in, in all of my time had someone make it all the way to that point. Like you got my number and everything. Right. And they say, when I tell them, no, they say, you know what? I don't think I can do this. Not women. Well, let me ask I don't know. That, I don't that know what trans women do. Why do those relationships not work? You think? Because, like I said, I feel fetishized sometimes. You say weapon? Fetish, fetishized. I seen like a lot of people talk about. I do feel sometimes fetishized, and I also have had my own insecurities because of how long it takes to break through certain situations. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you that's being honest and taking accountability. One, I, sometimes I feel fetishized. And when I, I feel like it's a fetish, I don't go after it. Two is sometimes because of the type of women I go after, like sometimes that I like, like last person I was kind of like trying to date. <sighs> it's so many barriers because I do go to church, I do those things. So I date women that tend to do those things, believe it or not. And I've been in situations, I've been in situations where it's like so many walls to break down. Like you've accepted me, but then it's like, you're dealing with your own, I guess, religious stuff and like childhood stuff. And maybe you're, you, you're Greek and it, I've dealt with so much, so then I'm like behind the closet. Mm -hmm. It's like they don't it, it, they don't want nobody else to have me, but then they don't want to kind of put me on the forefront. And then so I've been in situations where I've had to play a lot of games. Like I've had to, like, you know, I like you, I love you, baby. Like I really want to be with you, but I can't let you play on my top like that. So I'm gonna show you that I can be with somebody else i can talk to other people right but am i really happy and am i really fulfilled no because i'd rather be with a person that i feel aligned that i want to go out just like certain women want to be with men at this and certain men want to have a trophy like i want to be able to say like that's my girl you know what i'm saying that and i've been in situations where i've been behind closed doors like and i've put myself in situations like that Gotcha. Right. Okay. Understandable. So let's keep going. What are your deal breakers? Um, my deal breakers is I, I can't accept that no more. Right. I can't accept being put behind closed doors. I'm not about to do no situation ship for a very long time. You know, I'm not doing that for a very long time. Uh you either know what you want to do with me or you don't. Like I can't I can't put myself through that no more. Um, I want to be married. I want to settle down. And I know that I can. I feel like all my homeboys and everybody, they always say, you a daddy, you you a husband like type person. But I just haven't met that person, right? So I, but I want that. So I, I can't be behind closed doors. I can't deal with trying to figure out what's going on in your mind. Um, I take the initiative in the beginning. I'm gonna tell you what I want. I'll court you, but I gotta because of my stuff that because of I'm a different type of man and stuff I dealt with. You do still gotta kind of let me know that I'm wanted. You know what I'm saying? I understand like you want to be chased, you want to be courted, all that, but you can't let me just like do that for too long because then I'm gonna feel like I, I shouldn't really like me like that. Yeah. She don't really feel me like that, and then I'm gonna be a Gemini. And do my own my own thing. Okay. Uh, so that's well, my let's, well, let's say, well, let's talk to the questions because you said 
I didn't ask you the questions and people didn't know the answers. It's really how you answer. You the one giving these deep dive answers. No, 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 no. I'm, because I'm being clear. I'm, I'm being clear. I'm being clear. I'm being clear. Okay, you being clear nobody, of, of, of what you I don't want nobody tolerate. coming back that, that talked to me over these last, you know. Oh, no. Da, 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 da. So I'm being very clear. Okay. Yeah. Now, does she have to look a certain way? Yes, once again, like, I feel like all women are beautiful, you know? All women are beautiful. I'm not picky, but at the same time, yes, I like a, 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 a nice figure, you know, um, healthy person, um, healthy body. Um, I'm not really into bigger women. It's no offense to bigger women, but I like kind of petite, smaller type women. Um, okay, got it. Let's do, how about money? Does she got me a certain amount of money? Mm, I did at first. I used to, I had a, I had a rate, but uh, I, I don't, I don't feel like it anymore. No, whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, I'm, I'm just like, be entrepreneur, like be an entrepreneur, be educated. Um, I can't say if you're educated, you make a whole bunch of money because you may be a professor or something like that. But, you know, be able to talk about, I, I work in tech. I'm very techy. Um, I'm talking about platforms. I have a team of 10. I'm always talking about tech. That's my biggest problem. I talk about business all day long. Like, the question just, is, Alan, do she got to make a certain amount of money? Yes, if you feel like you can have a conversation about startups and tech and business and stuff like that and traveling, and you feel like you're aligned with that, that's fine. No, no, like, it's not about your job. The requirement is, is there a money requirement in order to date you? That's the question. No, no, I, I, no, I guess not. But it's, yeah, I guess not. I feel like if you're, but can I ask a question to you? If you're educated... <laughs> And you're an entrepreneur, aren't you making a certain type of money? I'm not saying that you just make zero dollars, though. Well, Alan, you you make this more complicated. Now, I, I stood up here, you called me, and you accused me of I didn't... not... Hold on. Oh, no, you did. You said, and this is why I wanted to make sure, because I am making sure I'm asking you every question, because you said your first time on the show, I didn't ask you every question because I was so mesmerized that you were a trans man. So this time, I want to make sure I'm going through my Kendra G questions. But you are having, you won't even answer the questions. You give us a story for every question. So you got to take okay. responsibility. So this question is never complicated. It's, a, it's okay. does the woman have to make a certain amount of money to be with you? No, but y'all heard what I said. We don't understand what you said. No, I'm talking about them. Like, they should yeah, understand. They're, saying, they're telling me in the comments, they're saying, I'm confused, Kendra confused, everybody confused. But what's confusing about the fact that I don't care about the limit, but you have to be educated. Like, of course, a person, I, I don't want somebody that may work at the Dollar General. You get what I'm saying? But I can't say how much money you make. Well, listen, like, that's, listen, life happens to everybody. So you can be educated and laid off. You can be educated and not working. So educated right. doesn't necessarily mean an income. Actually, they could be a teacher who's educated and they don't even make as much money. So right, that's not that's the answer. What I'm... The answer, if, if you want to just say, um, no, money's not, not important, we can go on to the next question. But you don't okay. answer, like, there's no answer when you say, be educated. Like, that doesn't have a dollar amount. There's a lot of smart people who are not making a lot of money. But that's what I, but that's what I mean. So j that part, it I mean, doesn't there's matter. smart people that can be somebody at the Dollar General could be making more than a smart person. Uh, all right. It doesn't matter. Let's move forward. Okay. Let's do the Kendra can. All right. Okay. Got your hands. You don't got to put your hands up. You don't got to move your shirt up. <laughs> all right. So, Alan, when was your last relationship? My last relationship was in 2020. Say it again? 2020. 2020. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, uh, last year, uh, sep September of last year. Okay. Are you waiting for a relationship? Mm hmm Okay. What are three flaws you have to work on, Alan? I guess uh, 
answering questions with long answers. No, uh, <laughs> uh, no, um, three, uh, I, I think I could be more personable sometimes. Uh, I could be better personable. I could have better uh, work life balance. Um, and I could be less analytical about everything because I'm less analytical. Less analytical. Mm -hmm. All right, Alan. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, because I'm everything. I do everything. I do everything. I I do everything. I'm everything. I cook, clean, put your desk together, put your bed together, fix your car help you get on, teach you about business, do your resume, uh, do your business plan. I'm a, I mean, I do, I do, I do every single thing. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm a good lover. I feel like I'm affectionate. I feel like I've healed in the areas of emotional intelligence. Uh, Cause I was bad, but yeah, I've healed. Yeah. Let's do it. So we got, oh, do you want the woman to be in Atlanta? Uh, she can be in the South. The South. You're 27. What's the age range you want to date? Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to change it, 35 to 41. You want older? Yeah. Because she have kids already? No, no, 30, 30, let's say 31 to 41. I apologize. I apologize for that. Does she have kids already? Um, No. I say, I say yes before, but no. I want my own kids. I want my own kids with my own woman. Okay. If you got one kid, okay. If you have one kid, that's fine. If you have multiple baby daddies, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't want to do it. No, I don't want to do it no more. So, okay. And I want to respect your, your wants, right? And your desire. Mm -hmm. But it's a question I have just as a journalist. So you don't mm -hmm. have to answer if you don't want to. If mm -hmm. you have, in order to have a child though, I'm assuming you would have to implement a sperm donor in the mix, correct? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, you said you want to have your own kids. So would it be your right. genetics? Would you yeah, carry? So it, so I, no, no, no. I I wouldn't carry. Uh, it's very important for me to have my own bloodline kids. My dad, Doctor Harry Anthony Bray, founder of the Battle of the Bands. He only had I only have a nephew. And if my nephew don't have a baby, then that's the end of our bloodline of the Brays. Okay. So. We have situation figured out, but I'm going to be using my Bray bloodline to have a child. I cannot have, you know, with my, with my actually DNA, can't have a child, but my child has, will have a Bray bloodline. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, is that's the, that's the very important part. If that wasn't the case, I would be more lenient on adoption and stuff like that but because like if my nephew don't have a child which we're the same age he does not have a child then that'll be the end of our brave bloodline on our side uh that's the reason why it's so important for me right listen i gotta you know i'm, I'm just gonna i'm a journalist at heart so i gotta ask this question so are you saying they will use your daddy's sperm in order to create your son they will use my relative. My my dad has been deceased. Okay, uh, but a relative yeah. sperm. Okay, I thought it was your daddy. I wasn't sure if you froze it right. before he passed. Mm -hmm. I don't know, mm -hmm. child. You know, I just got to ask Alan. I want to be yeah. respectful, but then I no, also... No, you can be... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm willing to a answer the question, but I also want to be respectful. Yes. That okay, so the clarity right. is you have a relative sperm that could carry on this, the, the bloodline. So whatever woman you get with, she has to be willing to get pregnant um, in that way in order for y'all to have a child. You're right. She'd be had to wi willing to do IVF, yes. Have to be willing to do IVF. Now, that's non-negotiable for you. Um, IVF or surrogacy, that's non-negotiable, yes. Got you. That's non-negotiable. Okay. So, you okay, fair enough. All right, Alan, I respect your transparency. Um, Alan did say he's totally right. I ran into him All-Star Weekend in Utah, ironically enough, coming out of a party. And I, you know, I, I didn't realize it then. But I realized, I remember you from my show, but mm. even in person. So let's do it. How could the woman reach out to you, Alan? Uh, 
tech CEO Allen. Uh, tech CEO. This was heavy. They talking about Wu Chow. <laughs> I mean, it was yeah, heavy. it is a heavy. It was heavy. I will say was this. Heavy. I live in LA, um, mm -hmm. and I also live in a celebrity world. So mm -hmm. IVF and all that is very normal to me, but it's not an average thing, right? It's not something that people do on a regular basis. It's definitely not cheap. So mm -hmm. I think, you know, the great thing about my show is everyone watches. So there's some people who never heard of IVF, there's some people who have heard of it and know they can afford it. And then there's some people that's just like, I ain't doing it, right? But there is a world of people that are very much open-minded to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and my thing is I have friends, I have homeboys that were born males that were not able to produce with their wives and stuff like that that have done IVF. I understand like very detailed about certain situations and I know that you have to have a strong foundation in order to even do that because that has even broken up heterosexual you know relationships because it's a lot of emotions hormones and stuff that go into it and i understand those things and i've done research i've sat through classes with carrot and all of that that's a tech company that does the ivf stuff so I've, i i understand the process and i know it's not for everybody but that's why i wanted to get back on the show be very specific and have these conversations and hopefully i don't have to Rehab these I mean, conversations. Get, I mean, I, I wish I could tell you, you're still going to get people that are curious. You're still going to get people that's going to hit you for those type of reasons. So mm -hmm. just, you got to just decide whether I want to decipher them. There's some people that are watching you for the first time.